Chicago's Navy Pier Park is now home to an eye-catching sight. I have no idea what they are. They just appeared one day. My kids wanted to climb it. They wanted to touch it. Now that you've mentioned it, they do look like old-fashioned water towers. The water towers are sculptures created by Ivan Navarro back in 2014. They were inspired by New York City's water towers and named after Woody Guthrie's song, This Land is Your Land. So what do they mean? Well, it's supposed to be a commentary on migration. Hang on, we'll explain. I realized that that song is connected to the nomadic workers that travel from city to city. Every time they saw a water tower, they would jump out of the train because there was some economical activity in that town. Look inside the first tower and you'll notice a word or two reflected in a mirror. When you read the, the lyrics of the song, each paragraph ends with a me. So I took the me from the lyrics. And then it's because I work with the idea of the reflection of the me into the mirror, because the me turns into we. That flip represents the song's call for unity. When you realize that the song is not just about me, the singer, but he's talking about society. The second tower features a ladder, representing progress, and the third spells out bed, which to Navarro represents the idea of home. How bed is your very, is the most basic idea of inhabitant space. After Chicago, the sculptures will head to the Momentary, a new contemporary art space opening in 2020 at the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. Meanwhile, Navarro continues to create. We got a sneak peek at his latest work, temporarily on display in his kitchen in Brooklyn, New York. Just the first line of neon is the real neon, and then everything else is a reflection. And it really makes the room look bigger. Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it goes on forever. Those mirrors and neon lights have become trademarks for Ivan Navarro, an artist looking to challenge perspectives in more ways than one. For me, always, art is more up to the, the viewer than, than to the artist. <laughs>